This is big breaking emergency news. We are now being issued this warning from a top U.S. military general. He is now issuing a broad warning and he is talking about the U.S. southern border. He is warning that our U.S. southern border is a national security risk and he is also telling people that they should not come here and he is going to use the military to have arrests at the U.S. southern border. That's what a top U.S. general is now warning of right now, right? So this is big news that this is happening, that generals are coming out with this rhetoric. We've never heard a general talk like this about the U.S. southern border, and he's extremely worried about it, right? He's extremely worried, and he is in control of the forces at the southern border and I want you to listen to this warning that he is issuing to the American people all right this is an urgent warning and people need to know how serious it is at our southern border all right and just today these are numbers coming out today I know this sounds like numbers from yesterday and the day before but just yesterday these numbers came out today processed yesterday there were over 7,000 migrant encounters again for the second day in a row at the U.S. southern border. All right, Tucson, Arizona led with over 2,000 apprehensions of illegal immigrants. There were also over 1,000 known gotaways yesterday. All right, absolutely insane that this is happening in our country. 7,000 a day the past two days. 14,000 people have crossed in the past 48 hours into our country. 14,000 people. Astronomical. 7,000 a day for a month is 210,000 people. Right? And if you multiply that by a year, that's almost 2.5 million people. 2.5 million people almost at this current rate and sometimes the rate goes up to 10,000 12,000 13,000 we've seen at the southern border just a few months ago and also a thousand known gotaways so they see these people cross on their surveillance with their drones with their cameras with their sensors but they are just let through nobody catches them nobody processes them or anything that's essentially what a gotaway is and then there's potentially another thousand people that were never caught on any cameras or any sensors and no one ever know they no one's ever known they crossed either All right so that's what just happened yesterday let's get into what this top u.s general is warning of and really quick hit it up for me down there hit that like hit that subscribe i'm posting multiple videos a day keeping you guys updated on this big news of what's going on inside our country all right, but I want you to listen to the, what this top general was warning of. All right, listen here. He issued this warning, and he's also warning migrants as well. A warning to migrants. On behalf of the Texas National Guard, General Seltzer. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, your Texas National Guard remains decisively engaged across 1,254 miles of Texas border. From El Paso down to Brownsville, uh, we are blocking illegal immigration, drug smuggling, weapon smuggling into this state. We do this in depth. We have boats on the river, as you can see. We have drones in the sky. We have a radar truck right over there uh, that can track 300 targets at once. And if they get to the shore, as everyone has just said, they're going to meet miles and miles of barrier. And if they get through the barrier, they're going to meet thousands of Texas soldiers and thousands of DPS troopers who are going to arrest them. So if you are around the world contemplating coming to do an illegal entry into the United States of America, you need to think twice about that. Go somewhere else or don't even begin your journey because if you get through that wire, we're going to arrest you. All right, that's what top U.S. general, the head general of the Texas National Guard he just warned people do not come here do not come to the united states he is saying that there will be arrests 
and he's saying that there's thousands of guard troops waiting to make arrests. All right, so that's what our U.S. military leaders are warning of. The National Guard is part of the army. They operate domestically to protect our domestic national security. And he is saying that this needs to stop and people should not come here. And he's warning, quote, migrants do not show up. All right, so very strong rhetoric that we are seeing from this general. I don't think we've ever seen a general talk like this about the U.S. southern border, be so blunt about it. And it seems like he is personally upset about this crisis and he wants it to stop. The military and the National Guard know that this is a national security risk to our country. And I even posted a video earlier today about how the U.S. military is getting ready for this major domestic emergency, right? And we are now seeing these, quote, bandits. They are popping up all over the southern border right now. That's what they're coining the term here as bandits and these are people that are exploiting and taking advantage of the situation here on the southern border where they are robbing these quote migrants and taking all their stuff right there's people there's battling groups down here some groups are facilitating this helping this and then other groups are running up and stealing everyone's stuff and kidnapping people and all these things are happening and we are seeing the border patrol there having battles with these bandits on the U.S. side of the border. This is happening on the U.S. side. There's people coming in that are bad actors and taking advantage of the situation. And there's also people that are posting up here groups, these bandit groups that are attacking some of the migrants coming over and taking people, taking their stuff. This is chaos. This is lawlessness. This is like a war zone that's going on at the U.S. southern border. And what about all the people down there in Texas, all the ranchers down there in Texas that have to deal with all these people going through their property all the time, right? They have to deal with thousands of people destroying their crops, messing with their cattle, destroying their fields. And it's it's not fair none of it's fair to anyone and then these people are also being exploited there's there's terrible things happening to the women and children that are crossing every single woman and child is just having terrible things happen to them right from stories this is being reported and i can't even you can't even report this stuff how bad some of this stuff is all right but everyone's being Exploited. This is not a good situation for the American people, for these people coming here, that a lot of them are being told a lie. And this general is saying, do not come. Do not come. All right, so we need to see more states on the southern border have their National Guard as serious as Texas because it has brought down crossings in Texas. There has been a slow, but the crossings have just migrated to the san diego sector and new mexico sectors and tucson sectors let me give you guys a quick chick update and hit it up for me down there while i'm grabbing one for you guys all right we are working on big things in our homestead we have lots of chickens gone gardens going we're going to plant some bushes and some trees soon all right we're clearing down cutting down some trees clearing stuff out working on this pond back here we need to divert some water to this pond all right we have a bunch of projects going on and 2024 is the year to be prepared and be ready all right we could see something big happen related to our open border it's a national security risk and every day there are people showing up on these international watch lists all right there's already been around 60 people over 60 people that have been caught this year alone crossing our southern border on these fbi international watch lists we do not know what they are up to what they're doing and that's just the people that were caught and some of them were even released into the country after they were caught one of them was released bare minimum that we know of i reported on that a few weeks ago 
So get yourself ready. Get out of these cities. Try to grow something, even some microgreens in your window seal. Just try to get some kind of something going, right? Grow something and be prepared. All right, so thank you guys. I hope you have big blessings. Go check out my video I posted earlier today. And I hope you have a big old blessed day.